What's going on guys? This is Drop It Like It's Scott. Welcome to the home recording session. Uh, today we are talking about this particular optic right here. This is the Sealy Optic. This is the Shark X Pro and they sent this out to the channel for me to be able to do a review on and I wanted to bring it to you guys first so you guys can see it and see exactly what this thing is and how awesome it is. This is for Delta Point Pro Footprint. It's, you can visit them at SealyOptics.com. This is the Shark X Pro. This one is fully submersible in water and it also is drop proof. We are going to test both of those here on the channel and then we're going to make sure that it's still on zero, take it out to the range and shoot with it just so you can see how these things are really stacking up to the competition that is out there for a budget price. Let's go ahead and show you some of the things that it comes with on the inside. It has a little uh, cleaning cloth, instruction manual, this has your uh, windage and elevation on how to zero, shows you all the different ways of zeroing your optic. Little Sealy Optics sticker, that's gonna go on my safe. Comes with your Allen keys for windage and elevation adjustment and for locking it onto your, your pistol. I went ahead and put this on my Elite Combat Executive. So this is the optic right here. It is on. I'll show you first off that this Canik is empty. And this is my, like I said, this is my Canik TP9 Elite Combat Executive. This is the optic. It does have little grooves here on the side for co-witnessing if you lose your rear optics or your rear sights on this one like you do. This has your fiber optics on the front. So this is the red dot. Look at that. It has multiple levels of brightness. You can turn it down depending on your, your settings or where you're shooting inside, outside. Inside, outside, come around. You can turn it back up to get it to its brightest setting. The controls are on the side here. Your battery compartment is here as well. Your windage and elevations are where they normally are on an optic. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the slide off of this and we're going to submerse this into some water so we can prove that it still works. And then we're gonna take it outside and we're gonna drop it. And as we, after we drop it, we're gonna take it back out to the range and we're going to shoot with it. You guys ready for this? This is the Sealy Optic. Visit them at sealyoptics.com and pick up yours today. This thing's pretty cool. I like it. Let's head on out there and do the water test and the drop test. Here we go. All right guys, so here we go. We have the Sealy Optic. This is the Shark X Pro, and we're going to do the water test. And you ask me, Scott, where are you gonna get such a thing of water to be able to test this particular optic in the water? Is that good enough for you? Here we go. 20 minutes later. It is still on. Let's leave it in there for a little bit longer. Still on. Now let's go drop it. Still on. Still on. A couple dings and scratches on the top of it. Did not loosen up off of the slide at all. Got a couple little dings on there. Scratches. Dropped it from about six feet. No cracks. Nothing. But we're still on and we're good. Let me show you. Yep. Still on. I don't think you can go wrong with this one. Now let's take it out to the range and put it through the mill over there. All right guys, so we are back out here on the range and we have the Sealy Shark X Pro and we've done some dropping with this and we're going to take more dropping to it and we're going to, um, I'm just gonna throw it. 
And so you know, we are empty when we throw this. There's nothing on it, nothing in it. Nothing wrong with it. Gun's getting dirty. So now we've come to the point in the video where we take it out to the range and see if it's still sighted in. When I put it on, it was, and now we've dropped it, we've submerged it, we've used it as a hammer on some wood, dented the snot out of the wood. So let's put a magazine in here. Sorry, Canik. My bad. All for science. Yes, science! I promise. And today I have on the 45 blast compensator for the Canik Combat Executive. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Yeah. I think it's still on point. Yeah. It's on, it's still there. It's not even moving. I mean, it moves when I shoot the gun, but the dot's still on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and say for a, for a budget-friendly optic from a company called Sealy Optics, if you're looking for an optic that is great, that is going to be compatible with your Canik, compatible with your SIG, compatible with your full-size handguns, I don't think you can go wrong with this. You know, I've got a couple of Sealy Optics and none of them have let me down. None of them have let me down. So I'm going to give this one a humongo thumbs up and let you guys know that this is the way to go. A Sealy Optics, an up and coming optics company for budget friendly optics. Check them out, go to my website right there. Click on the link for Sealy Optics. Tell them drop it like it's Scott sent you and also Head on over to 45 Blast and pick up a compensator because they actually really do work. They take about 60 to 65% of the recoil away from the pistol. All right, thanks for watching Drop It Like It's Scott. Let me leave you with your word of encouragement for today. The word of encouragement today comes out of Romans 8, verses 1 and 2 out of the New Living Translation. It says, so now there is no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus. And because you belong to him, the power of life-giving spirit has freed you from the power of sin that leads to death. Hey, thanks for watching Drop It Like It's Scott. Enjoy your day. Enjoy the journey. And please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and all that good stuff uh, because we're trying to grow this channel. We're trying to breach new records, break, break records, break goals, and I need your help with it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.